Hey there, Cancer. We're doing your love reading for the month of December. Cancer, thank you so much for joining me, guys. We're starting off this reading by pulling your significant other's vibes in connection to you, this relationship, whatever's happening, whatever is going on. Let's see, let's see. Hope, rainbow. All right, so your significant other is feeling hopeful. Now, when you feel hopeful, it's because there is something that went wrong somewhere along the way and you are wishing, yearning for something better. So that's what's happening. Rainbow reminds me of LGBT community. For some of you, select a few. The letter K, C, and R could be of significance. Maybe V and E are just letters that I'm seeing on the on uh on the card the number six which is may june june the month of june art as well could be of significance maybe there's an artist children as well all right help so overall this is something incredibly positive we have lotus flower enlightenment and here we have letters and their stamps. So for many of you, this is about, I'm here, this is about a child going to college or going to the university or some sort of good news being received by your significant other, enlightenment and hope. So overall, the energy for your significant other, guys, is incredibly optimistic, guys. And listen, this could be because of what's happening in the relationship, but in general, it could be about anything that's going on in their life, guys. So there is definitely fresh new energy, new uh, happenings that are going on in their life, guys. And I do feel like it's very much uh, overdue. Lotuses, flowers could be of significance. The number 27. All right. I also feel like your significant other has been illuminated. What does that mean? It means that there's something that they're seeing now that they understand now about you, about this relationship, the connection that the both of you have that um, they, they didn't before. Okay. We have butterfly metamorphosis. Wow. Check this energy out butterflies some of you could have a connection with butterflies let me tell you about an experience i had guys with butterflies it was during my time in oregon i went hiking and this particular hike i went to because of the wildflowers that were blooming at the time and i came across a field of these types of butterflies like there was there were thousands of them guys on the trail laid out on the grass just hanging out on the floor and i was taken aback i didn't notice them until i was kind of close to them and i just came to a complete stop and i was in in awe guys in amazement at what i was witnessing because i had never seen something more beautiful to be honest with you as all those butterflies just hanging out there on my path. And sure enough, shortly after a few seconds la uh, later, the people that were behind me were being kind of noisy and they came uh, to where I was at and all the butterflies just dispersed in the air, guys. It was, it's the most beautiful thing I've, I think I've ever seen in my life. They all just took off flying at the same time it was thousands of them guys <clears throat> so that is kind of like if i'm being reminded of that right so i feel like your significant other this relationship as well right it's been on this path on this journey and um your significant other has come to this place in this journey right in in this relationship where they there is renewed hope Maybe it's something that they're seeing, something it is that they're witnessing and experiencing. There's a metamorphosis going on, guys, which is a, it's a big transformation that is undergoing this relationship, this connection, guys. Overall, I, I think it's incredibly positive. Number 22. Okay, let me pull some cards from here. Let's, let's look for, further into this. All right, I am a source of creativity. Inspiring others is effortless when you tap into your own gifts. 
All right, so your significant other is tapping into a part of themselves. I'm hearing that they have not connected with in a, in a, for a very long time. You possess an unlimited network of creative energy and the ability to create new ideas and solutions. Wow. So your significant other as well. Again, hope. I feel like the relationship, the connection has a whole lot of potential. And, and for each and every one of you, what's happening, what's going on in the relationship is going to differ slightly. But again, with the card hope being there, it just gives me the feel that things not too long ago weren't exactly so great. But I think your significant other, it has maybe been very creative in, in their thinking and in their approach on, you know, uh, how to handle uh, the situation and what's going on. You possess an unlimited network of creative energy and the ability to create new ideas and solutions. I mean, so any any problems that there, that were your significant other is thinking about solutions, right? So this is a person that is not um, that is overcoming mental blocks or certain limitations and restrictions, right? Because they're actively, I'm hearing, finding solutions. And that's very important. I'm hearing that perspective, that state of mind at the present moment. Allow those thoughts that enter your mind to, to flow fully, freely. So there's a state of flow that's happening, guys. And I know this seems very like individualistic and not necessarily focused entirely on the relationship, but one thing that I always say, guys, one of the fastest ways that you can improve a relationship, work on a relationship is by working on yourself and naturally your relationships will improve. So that's like what I see happening here. Allow those thoughts that enter your mind to flow freely, becoming tangible objects and goals. So listen, your significant others really getting inspired and, and it really goes with everything that we've already covered, right? This, this inspiration, this transformation, things are changing internally. And as a result, everything around, including the relationship, the connection is, is changing, right? And I, I feel like it's all very positive. I can overcome any obstacle. Do you see that? So there's definitely been obstacles on the road. Do you see that? But they're being overcome, these these obstacles in the relationship. And sometimes, you know, these obstacles could be in our own lives and they, you know, uh, spill over into our, you know, other areas in our lives, right? Believe that you can succeed in any endeavor and trust the path the path will be laid out for you. So they're trusting. They know that nothing is impossible, right? Nothing in within the relationship is impossible, right? So this is also touching on any, any relationship goals that your significant other has that they know are possible, right? And not impossible. Any obstacle you encounter on your journey to success can be conquered. What is destined for you will be yours, but the key is perseverance. So they're not giving up, guys. They're, you know, they're they're going despite any challenges. They know that you guys can get past whatever those things are, and um, they're persevering still. I'm hearing not giving up and pushing forward, and that's wonderful. I feel like that's been their vibe for a while, and now finally, right? You guys are getting to a point in the relationship where things are looking a lot better, right? And I'm hearing, and along the way, you guys, uh, maybe specifically them have really, I feel like maybe discovered certain things, right? Because we have this enlightenment, this metamorphosis, and then this hope. You know, sometimes it takes us being under pressure for us to crack a little bit. And I feel like maybe your significant other needed a little cracking. Um, all right, now let's take a look at you and then we'll move in with the tarot. All right, let's take a look at you, Cancer. What are your vibes? What are your vibes? Okay, let's take them. All right, we have this sunflower, which I love to see. I love sunflowers. Action. All right. So action is important. Maybe you are thinking about doing something or you are actively, excuse me, taking action. Sunflower. Okay. We'll see how that fits in. Number 34, 40 could be of significance. Bullseye focus, action focus. So I feel like you are sure about what you're sure about what you want we could say about what you want to do, or maybe I should say, you know what it is that you want and the results that, and the results you want. 
traffic cone and it says caution. Okay. Hmm. Traffic cone. All right. So let me take this in guys. Action sunflower. Okay. Let's go. Let's go through each card. All right. So you're remaining positive. The sunflower is really cool because it tries to always face the sun whenever it can. Right. It tries to bask in that sunlight and it's all, and it looks for it. So I feel like you are lo actively looking for the positive or I'm hearing uh, uh, actively focus on what matters and you're remaining as positive as possible, looking for some, I'm hearing something specific, something good in the relationship, right? In the connection, sunflower. And I'm seeing somebody really weird, like a, there's a bunch of, they're covered in sunflowers, uh, but the sunflowers fall off and there's a basket and now you can enjoy the sunflowers. So something has come to maturity, guys. Something has, um, reached its full cycle with you and and you're ready to um bask in 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 in, in um this bounty however that resonates bullseye there's obviously something that you are really focused on right now now i feel like that might be a problem and the only reason i say that is because the traffic cone is here right and the traffic cone, well, I'm thinking about delays, right? But it, it says caution. So there's maybe a need, not necessarily, maybe yes to slow down, right? Because when you see a cone like this, it means caution, right? There might be some tra some construction, something happening. So there's several things, right? I feel like there you've been cautious. There's been things that, that have been going on that have required for you to maybe slow down, to be careful, to be more watchful about maybe what it is that you're doing or maybe not doing, being a lot more aware. So I see you being a lot more aware, which is important. And I'm seeing that connected to this sunflower. I feel like this overall is something incredibly positive. I feel I feel there's like a message here coming through for you that there's a need to focus on this guys a, a need to maybe slow down which could um but not necessarily physically slow down but more so this caution here this slowing down is for the purpose of awareness so really the translation here the interpretation should be there's a need to expand your awareness of your surroundings but in particular in connection to this relationship and this connection and let's see how Let's see, let's see. Bullseye. Taurus could be of significance. Bull, right? As well as maybe Sagittarius because the sunflower makes me think about Sagittarius. All right. I am surrounded by positive energy. And then here it says, I am patient with myself and others. All right. So there's like this laser focus here. Okay. But more so what is really standing out to me is all these other numbers here, which maybe tend to go unnoticed, right? They're kind of like fade, they fade in the background. I'm hearing all of this is important. I'm hearing, uh, this is your position cancer. Many of you have been focused on this red dot right here. And maybe all of this has not gotten enough uh, uh, attention. Now that's of significance. That's of importance guys. Okay. Now I am patient with myself and others. Please take a number. All right. So you know what's happening here. You know, sometimes you visit, um, a place and there's a lot of people that attend and all you have, what you have to do is grab a number. There's this little machine there and there's tickets. You take a number and then you go sit your butt down. So that's what this is. That there is a need to wait. There is a need to exercise patience. Now traffic cone. Okay. When you see a traffic cone, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to slow down and become aware of your surroundings. Right. But you know, and again, we see this bullseye. You, you, you have to, I'm hearing expand this awareness. I'm hearing this radius. Now I'm seeing this radius being expanded and you slow down, don't you? And, but listen, you might be in a hurry right now. We touch back to this bullseye where laser focus could be like you're, you're 
you focus on something and um, this could just mean like it's something that you are in a rush to get to maybe because of this traffic count. Wait a minute, we'll get into the tarot just a minute and that will, you know, illuminate a lot this a lot more for us. And um, well, let's read what this says. The universe works on its own time. All right, so listen, there's things that are happening in your life as well as in this connection this relationship that require your patience now that may be frustrating right and i can see i i can see the need to be patient because your significant other guys has been experiencing a lot of challenges there's obviously been you know there's a lot happening there you see this metamorphosis think about a butterfly before they're a butterfly they're inside a, ca a cocoon aren't they so they can't really be bothered, right? So I'm getting that all of that is symbolic. All of that has to, it, it means something here. So you're, we could say your significant other at some point was inside this cocoon. That may have been frustrating. And for each and every one of you, how that manifested, you know, that time where your significant other was inside of a cocoon, how that manifested, how that affected the relationship and the connection is going to differ for each and every one of you. But I will say that I think it really tested your patient is taste testing your patience okay the universe works on its own time be patient open and understanding and you will begin to strengthen your ability to accept things as they come All right so what is it saying it's having to surrender perhaps and accept that we don't have full control over the th the way things happen sometimes Trust that everything will happen exactly when and as it should. So I'm already, I'm getting the feeling that there's, there's something that's happening. The, what, whatever's happening right now, whatever has happened between the both of you and the relationship within the connection is, um, something that maybe you didn't want or you would have rather something else. And maybe that has been taking, you know, too long. And this is just pretty much saying like, you will have to exercise patience and continue to exercise patience this December, okay? And then it says, I'm surrounded by positive energy, right? And we've seen all of this great positivity over here on in your significant other's life. Now, that doesn't mean that they are a ray of sunshine. That doesn't mean that they don't have any issues or any problems. It just says that there's something happening on their side that is very positive and, and, and significant. And well, I feel like this card here, I am surrounded by positive energy is just bringing to your attention that your experience doesn't have to be this way, right? It doesn't have to be a frustrating experience or whatever negative feeling, you know, that you've experienced from whatever is happening. I'm hearing it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. Especially not with this sunflower card. You have to be this sunflower I'm hearing and every day. I'm hearing make an effort to be like this sunflower and face and, and look for the sun, look for that ray of sunshine in that day, even if it's just like a little, a little bit of light. Okay. Create an environment for yourself that makes you feel strong and supported. So that's important guys, creating a strong environment, uh, that supports you at this time. Take time to personalize your space and find a place for each item, both at home and at work. By maintaining your physical space, you welcome in an atmosphere of uplifting energy in which you are able to foster happiness, resilience, and positive relationships. So you see how this is bringing attention to your environment. Many of you, this happens to all of us. We constantly have to remind ourselves and bring awareness to this, right? To not allow what's happening around us, our environment affect us and control our feelings and our emotions and how it is in our reactions, right? And again, that I feel like is being um, supported even more so with this cone, which is bringing attention to your environment, right? And there's this laser focus here on like one thing. And, and again, the bull makes me, and the red makes me think of like something that incites a certain uh, aggression or negative, we could say, let's just call it a certain reaction. And there's a need I'm hearing to uh, unfocus, I'm hearing 
on that that red thing i'm hearing that makes you go red or make oh, that turns you into this bull this raging bull perhaps this thing that you're focused on right and there's a need more so to focus on everything else as a whole and there's a lot of really positive things going on there guys so i feel like this is just talking about the relationship right and maybe how you're viewing the relationship as maybe um there's just one thing that's really sticking out right and there's a lot more to take from this that's really good and positive however that resonates okay now <laughs> let's move into the tarot let's look into your significant other tell me more tell me more about uh, them let's call them let's call them them <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Here we go. Ace of Pentacles, and then we have the Five of Wands. Okay. Five of Pentacles. So again, the Five of Pentacles is this like, oh, I'm sorry, this is the Page of Pentacles. Okay. All right, so the Page of Pentacles talks like, it talks about the place your significant other is in, right? Which says that they're still there's the energy on their side seems very like non-reactive it's it seems slow moving it's the page of pentacles so there's still a lot that's happening that is continuing to uh that is developing over on their side guys there also seems to be a focus of some sort something that they're focused on um in their lives that may not necessarily be the relationship itself and again that may be frustrating because i'm getting the feeling that on your side there's something like it's well, how, what, like this waiting again, like take a seat, take a ticket and sit down. So that's been you, you've taken this ticket and you've been sitting there and you've been there before, right? I know I've been there. I'm like, okay, this is getting ridiculous, right? Like this has been too long. Just, I feel like the mess, one of the messages, uh, message here for you, cancer is don't lose, don't lose your cool, man. <laughs> like don't lose your cool. Not yet. Okay. Now we have this five of wands. Now the five of wands talks about, um, problems and challenges. It also talks about opposition, right? So like right now, think about it like this. This is what I'm picturing in my head. Like there's a bunch of lasers, right? Think, you, you know, like, um, uh, like security lasers protected and like, ooh, you have, I'm seeing somebody crawl, squeeze in between, trying not to set off an alarm. So I feel like your significant other is this person. I'm hearing they're trying not to set off an alarm and they're squeezing through these uh, little crevices, these spaces that they have, which is challenging. Now the five of wands also talks about, you know, maybe tension. So there is tension here. Um, now again, um, seems like, I mean, nothing, listen, nothing is perfect. That is evident here with this five of wands. <clears throat> let's continue let's look at you let's look at you so that's that's them right now let me look at you i want to see you let's see you cancer tell me more about cancer we have the four of wands okay whoa and then we have the world card all right, the four of wands, we see a couple there. So progress, what is next is very important, right? And then we have the world card, which I'm seeing as something that, like I'm seeing this world card as the clock. Again, I'm seeing you sitting there and you're like, okay, you know, I'm still having to wait. So I feel like you're coming from a place where you feel like something should already be at a certain place, right? I feel like your focus as well as this relationship, this connection, how it's progressing forward. And I, I think that um, that's like your focus, the world card. I'm seeing the world card as this big picture perspective that you have right now. We could say even like your focus, what's really important to you. And um, I'm also seeing this as, we could say that bullseye, right? What you're focused on, you see this focal point here and it's the relationship, it's the connection again. And I feel like you, you are, uh, you're wanting to celebrate, you're wanting to reach these milestones. And I feel like the relationship has reached certain milestones, but um, there is something about it guys that is maybe a little bit off for you. 
Now there is maybe, I wouldn't say defensiveness. Let me see what this five of wands is here on your significant other side. What is this five of wands, Holy Spirit? What is this five of wands? We have the ace of wands. All right, so this is just talking about um, challenges, guys, that your significant other has had. Challenges that they've had about, um, I'm hearing certain projects, certain goals, certain things that I'm hearing they've uh, set off to do, page of pentacles that they've struggled with. You know what this looks like? It looks like something personal, right? It looks like something personal in somebody's life that they don't, they don't wish to affect you or the relationship, but it's just kind of like what is, what is happening, right? All right, let's see what's something that you should look out for. That's what it looks like to me, guys. Like it looks like they've had some trouble, but look, look listen up. I feel like um, <clears throat> something that it is that you should know is that it looks like whatever's happening over here on, on your significant other side is going to still, you know, be happening this December. Okay, with this page of pentacles, there's there's still a, a little uh, a little bit more road to travel here on their side. I'm hearing before they're com they're uh, before they completely overcome all these obstacles and challenges. And trust me, I feel like once that happens, I feel like everything will improve. Okay, so now this is something you should watch out for, okay? Something you should look out for. Maybe this could be an obstacle or it doesn't have to be good or bad. It's just something to keep in mind, okay? About this, uh, this December, this is something you should look out for. Let's see if you wanna book a reading with me, guys. You can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VultureVoyageTarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. Let's take a look. Cancer, uncertainty, missing you. You see how it goes? Yeah, your significant other seems like they're pulled, sucked into this, this something, right? And you're over here like, you know, like, the relationship, you know, and they're over here like my personal stuff. But uh, I mean, that doesn't mean that they don't, um, maybe you need to hear this, that they don't appreciate you. Again, what did you see? What do we see with, with you? There's a need to be patient, right? Let me, let me, let me read this to you. Okay. This one right here, it says, please take a number. I am patient with myself and others. Okay. The universe works on its own time. Be patient, open, and understanding, and you will begin to strengthen your ability to accept things as they come. Trust that everything will happen exactly and ex exactly when and as it should, okay? It will happen. It will happen. Just be a little bit patient, okay? Uncertainty. A true romantic connection is unclear. A deeper understanding is required, right? So I feel like this could be creating uncertainty, like... You know, maybe you, you feel like things are unclear. Like, I don't know, you're, you're doubting things, uncertainty. So what? this is what you should watch out for, okay? This uncertainty, which could certainly create problems and tension. We saw that five of wands, right? Where there's conflict, there's arguments. A true romantic connection is unclear. A deeper understanding is required. And I feel like that deeper understanding is directly connected to this, uh, please take a number card. All right, missing you. Your absence is felt. They long for your embrace once again. I'm hearing maybe when you feel like you're not getting, when somebody feels like they're not getting the attention it is that they that they need, um, or yeah, they feel like their significant other, you know, is ignoring them, but but it's not. They they feel a disconnection, it, you know, a distance there, and you start missing them. Maybe that's where the uncertainty uh arises and where the problems the potential for more problems or problems can start so this is just um um oh something to watch out for guys a roadblock perhaps some I and mean, if it's a roadblock it's something that you want to avoid okay this is also saying hey there guys i'm back that was somebody at my door um i forgot where i was at guys oh this i was going to make this point here a deeper understanding is required. 
a deeper understanding is required. And what is that deeper understanding? I'm hearing it's that they miss you. Is that they miss you. Your absence is felt. They long for your embrace once again. This is what I have for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.